YouTube and my beasts, well what can I say apart from welcome back to the channel and I am Big D and literally I came home, I was eating my dinner, my son was talking about Fortnite with me in the kitchen, I turned on my phone and this is what I saw. So I was like holy crap. Uh, what the hell am I going to do? Everything that I had prepared for this video was all about really like the rumours and the pictures that we've had recently. So it was going to be like a five minute thing, if that, this video. And I was almost in two minds on whether to actually make it. But now when you come home, you see this, you think, sorry, I'm going to have to do it now. But it's, it's official. The new Call of Duty for this year will be Black Ops 4. I'm really interested in how they're actually going to portray the story because at the very end of this announcement trailer, it tells you to forget everything you know. So guys, let's just jump into it, see exactly what the hell they are trying to give to us and have a chat about it straight after this. Wow guys, October 12th and May 17th, make sure you mark them dates down and be prepared for a market campaign like no other. That's the one thing Treyarch do so so well. October, we haven't had an early release of a COD since COD 2 and May 17th we will be getting gameplay and I cannot wait for that. Now, the only thing I can actually see in this trailer, which is anything worth saying, and I'm gonna slow it down for you, is right near the end, you're gonna see some wintry forests, as well as a black crow fly in to the Black Ops 4 logo. The only reason why I say this is because it kind of coincides with the Black Ops 3 campaign when they were doing all the Snapchats. I'm gonna play you a little bit of it and see if you can actually see the relationship between Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 and I think this is where they're going to try and get us and tease us with it guys so let's have a look right now. Imagine somewhere calm. Imagine somewhere safe. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. Well there's a coincidence guys. We now have a winter map with a big forest in it as well as this on the wall inside this room. Now I don't know if this has been there for, from the very very beginning or they have just put this in with the new patch but it's the only thing that I can kind of find which relates to Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 and maybe this is the, what they're trying to tease and we've got to try and find the clues you know we've got to work out the numbers Mason and stuff like that but I don't think we're going to find out any more information on that till maybe a couple more weeks maybe even a month but I am super hyped for this game especially because World War 2 hasn't performed as well as what I definitely wanted but fear not guys we're gonna have Black Ops 4 in 2018 now I've just literally jumped on Charlie Intel while I was making this video and it's basically announced that Activision had no choice but to release a teaser trailer for Black Ops 4 due to all the rumors and all the leaks in the past week now this is the article at the very very bottom which is interesting it says Black Ops is back and what represents a game changing experience Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will revolutionize the top 10 series in Call of Duty history which will launch worldwide on Friday October 12th for PS4, Xbox One and PC. Now revolutionize the franchise. Is that a worry or is it not? The only thing I can actually think they'll probably try and bring to the new Call of Duty will be a battle royale because of Fortnite and PUBG because they are certainly taking over the show at the moment. But I did do a poll on Instagram and I asked everyone, would you like the next Call of Duty to have a Battle Royale built into it? And I'll show you the results right now. 58% of people said yes, and 42% of people said no. So we're not far from 50-50. I've got to say, I'm 50-50 at the moment. All I'm worried about is this game being better than Call of Duty World War II. As long as it's enjoyable and we can have lots of fun with our friends, that's all that Call of Duty needs to be. 
as as long as it's that I'll be very very happy now before we go anywhere else guys I just want to lastly show you this picture right here from GameStop this is a part of what started all the leaks and everything going on this week the most important thing is to look at the W at W that I believe is World at War now if they're gonna remaster World at War I can't wait for that because I've never ever played it and I'll definitely go out and buy it there's one thing I would like to see from these remasters and that is basically instead of releasing them with the latest Call of Duty I think we should wait maybe four to five months later because you've got to let the new Call of Duty find its feet and if the new Call of Duty doesn't perform really well at least you have something to fall back onto and we don't have to wait up to another year before we get another Call of Duty. But guys that's pretty much it. We've got some connection between Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, I think, with the Crows and the Winter Forest. We've got to keep on looking at Redwood, guys. Just keep on hunting. They, you never know with a new update, we might find something new on that map. Something else which may coincide with the release of Black Ops 4. Thanks so much for looking at this video. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure that you have and turn on notifications so you never miss another video from my channel. Hit that like button as well. It would deeply be appreciated. Keep on beasting, guys, and I'll see you soon on another video.